an exploration of the south leg of the Y for the Crofton Spur. Here's the map of southern Vancouver Island and the area that I was walking on the railway is in the little red circle near the town of Crofton. Here's a closer railway map and the south leg of the Crofton Spur is that little red mark that I've made and it is just south of the level crossing at Shimanus Road. The Crofton Spur was originally known as the Osborne Bay Subdivision and it was opened in June of 1914 and ran 2.6 miles from Osborne Bay Junction which was at mile 47.5 of the ENN Victoria Subdivision down to the industrial waterfront of Crofton. Now, um, its last regular use was in 1978. Before that, use was just rapidly declining. Um, log trains were infrequent down to the wharves at Crofton, and the big pulp mill at Crofton developed its own rail barge, and so it received its product and shipped out items via its own rail barge. So last regular use, 1978, and then there was a bit of switcher movement in the 80s, and the last one happened sometime in the mid-1980s. And then the spur, the Crofton spur, was abandoned in April of 1987. This history is from my reading of the fabulous books of Mr. Robert Turner on the ENN Railway. Here's a series of maps on the area of the Crofton Spur that I've explored, and it's really just the first part of the 2.6 miles, uh, the part that is west of Crofton Road. To orientate ourselves with this map, this red line is the north and south ENN main line, the Victoria subdivision. This next red line is the south leg of the Crofton Spur. That's the extent of my exploration um, shown in this video. And it starts on the main line and ends up basically where the, the property of Island Corridor Foundation ends and the property of a farmer would begin. The ownership of the Crofton Spur is really interesting. Um, it's a combination of um, three or four different owners. I'll explain. Um, the largest segment is um, owned by the pulp mill in Crofton, and whenever the mill gets sold, seemingly that corridor gets sold. And that length of corridor goes from a spot um, where a field ends and trees begin near the Bonsal Creek trestles, and I've marked it here on this map, to over to Crofton Road, um, and then on the other side of Crofton Road it picks up again and goes all the way down um, to the industrial waterfront at the mill. So the mill still owns that. The rest of it was owned um, by Canadian Pacific and then a couple things happened. One was um, some of the Canadian Pacific was donated to the Island Corridor Foundation and the Island Corridor Foundation ownership of this spur is essentially just um, the Y and it goes right up to close to where the the switch stand was at the inner part of the Y and that again is in the tree area just uh, to the left of where the farmer's field is shown in this map. This leaves the middle part of this corridor and that's the part that is now shown as being part of farmer's fields. And what has likely happened here is that the farmers, sometime in the last 15 years perhaps, have been able to purchase part of that corridor from Canadian Pacific and so it's now privately owned. That's what I assume has happened, but I'm not a land title searcher, so I don't know, and it's not really relevant for this video. It's being used as part of the farm. That's the point, and the railway no longer exists in that section. 
I need to say a few things about this section of the corridor here, which is owned by the Pulp Mill Company. And within this section is um, the meandering Bonsal Creek. And the rail line crosses it three times. And so there are three timber pile trestles. They are quite lovely, but they are quite overgrown, not just with small trees, um, but lots of blackberry vines, which are the killer kind of blackberry vines. Um, they are uh, really quite intense and uh, thick and tough to get through. Uh, really, they are. Trust me on that. Access to that area is from Crofton Road, from Roadside, and almost immediately you have to go through the Vine Hell. So here's the extent of my walk in the Crofton Spur. And there's really not much, as you can see, that I've, I've gone through. I basically start at the main line and get to the edge of the property line where the rail disappears. But it was a lot of fun. Mile 47.8 here is the level crossing. And looking south. Coming up at mile 47.5 is the Y um, junction to the old Osborne Bay subdivision in Crofton Spur, last used in the 1980s. But there is still track, rails, ties in the weeds if you know where to look for them. And I'm coming up to the north leg of the Y here on my left coming up. It's actually in here. In these weeds is rail. And there is the rail for the North Y, which ends when it gets to the private property there. Across the field up ahead is the south leg of the Y. There's rails in there as well. And I'm probably going to look at that on the way back in my hike. So through that field is where the south leg of the Y is going down the Osborne Bay route, otherwise known as Crofton Spur. Long abandoned, but the rail's still in. And in through there is the south leg of the Y, the old Crofton Spur, Osborne Bay subdivision. No doubt about it when there's rails left on. A bit more obvious now that I'm closer to it. And here's about the spot of the junction going off straight down through there to the right. I'll explore that on my way back. Well, it's two hours after I passed this way going southward, and now I'm coming back northward just about at the um, spot where the south leg of Osborne Bay subdivision Croft and Spur branched off to the right and I'm going to explore it. The switch stand would have been down around here somewhere and here's where it goes off to the right the direction my camera is facing. I'm just going to go a little ways beyond and then it's easier to get into the, what I'll just keep calling the spur, or south leg. We can call it a hundred different things. Anyway, I don't have to go through the immediate weeds. That's where the rail starts, right there. Rail on one side. 
And we walk through there. Okay, the best place for me to go now is right through there. And then work my way down the rail grade. Yeah, as far as I can go. I'll get blocked by trees. And then there's a farmer's field that just totally blocks it. Other side of the farmer's field is the trio of trestles at Bonsal Creek. You get to those from Crofton Road. Okay, last time I walked into this area was January 2019. That was my first time as well. So I'll do it again, all just over two years later. This time, with video. Rail, right there. You'll be hearing the endless snapping. And there's rail down here. So what they did was they detached the rails from the ties and the rails just kind of spread out for an ultra wide gauge. Widest railway on the ENN. And all the literalists are freaking out. Nice, pretty obvious grade. Rail. Rail. At some point someone will ask me how old the rail is. I'm not going to get down on my hands and knees and dig it out and see what the markings might say. Not knowing where the markings even are. But I will keep my eyes open for obvious. Hey, a tie. Look at that. And a tree in my way and a bigger tree further down. This makes a nice view right here. And a tree in the middle. About 35 years old probably for the tree. Mid 1980s. I'm now beside it. That's the view. Where I'm standing is on a slope. If I go down a bit further towards the swamp, I might have a good view looking up. And here I am, looking up. continue a little ways as far as I'm able looking back southward and the spur is standard gauge again so it's nailed into the ties there's the main line I can go a little ways further there's private property there on the left so at some point this will disappear and private property begins I'm still going and I got a nice spot here with the moss. I think it's going to ask me to stop and do a photograph because it's so lovely. A nice uh, cedar tree in the middle. And then it continues on. Here's a shovel hole. nice in here. And it keeps going on. And I can see the farmer's field ahead, which I've seen from the other side. 
I'll put a photo up here. I'm having fun working some photographs here. This is beautiful. The green moss really adds to the photo composition. I love that color. I'm having a lot of fun in this spot right here. Well, there's the famous tree on this subdivision. Famous to me because it's just the obvious uh, sign that, hey, nothing's happened here for a while. There's the main line. I'm going to that now. That's where I'm going, down the wide gauge part where the rail is detached from the ties. I'll get down a little ways, cross over the gully, and head on back. All right, I just came from there. And I'll head north, back to the level crossing of Shemenis Road. Here's the Shemenis Road level crossing. Across is the, uh, where I was, the south leg. There's the farm buildings I saw in a distance, and beyond that is that field. Let's take a close here. That's where I was. And in front of the boat there is the north leg with rails on. Looking straight through there. And it looks like it would have joined in just before the level crossing. There's the rail right there.